Jake, it's Chinatown. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel that I haven't uploaded in uh, for a little while, but here I am today, I saw a movie that just inspired me in such a way that I knew I had to review it here on my channel, so that's what we're doing today. I'm coming to you today from, uh, not from my house, obviously. Um, I'm in uh, the studio where I work, one of the studios. I might be filming more from the studio um, just because it's a little bit more relaxed of an environment here on the weekends than coming to you from my share house, which gets very busy and loud and noisy and distracting on the weekends. Parasite. When I first heard the name Parasite, I assumed this was a horror film. Now, there, this film does have horrifying elements, but it is not as such a horror film, no. This is more of a sort of slow burn family drama with a little bit of super black, black, black comedy like sprinkled over the top. This is written and directed by Bong Joon-ho, the brilliant, the brilliant mastermind uh, behind films like Snowpiercer, which I really loved, Okja, which I didn't so much love, it just wasn't quite for me, the, the satirical tone of it was a little bit too wacky for me, but I did appreciate it, and his other films like The Host and Mother, incredible. I'm tr a truly a huge fan of Bong Joon-ho's work, so when he has a new film coming out, regardless of whether or not people are calling it a masterpiece all the way around and it's winning prizes at the Cannes Film Festival earlier this year, which it did, I, uh, of course, was just holding my breath with excitement to see it. The film is about this uh, down-on-their-luck family, mother, father, daughter, son. The four of them are, you know, yeah, they're not doing so well in their day-to-day -day lives. They're not living in the nicest part of town. But when uh, they come across an opportunity to work uh, for a family in a really nice neighborhood, a wealthy upper-class family, of course, they're gonna seize this opportunity with both hands. So one of the family members begins working in the wealthy uh, household, then recommends their sibling, then the sibling recommends their parent, then the parent recommends their other parent, and before you know, the entire family is working within the household. The way I described it is way too uh, normal and mundane because this film has a lot of twists and turns and kind of unfolds in a way that you wouldn't expect. It's kind of one of those rides that you just have to hold on, keep your arms and legs inside the carriage and just, <laughs> yeah, hold on for dear life. And as the story evolves and the family have to do uh, more and more in order to secure their placement within the wealthy family's home, yeah, things just take a crazy, crazy turn. And I would say this genre kind of takes a shift into the next gear and you have to be on board for the ride because the story went in a way that I did not see coming. What is so great about this film is first and foremost, the characters. Each of the characters, every single family member of both the poorer family and the family with more money, they're all so incredibly human. It's not just that there is one family with less money and one family with more money and they're kind of polar opposites of each other. Uh, each of them have personalities. There's no stereotyping here. They all have so many layers. They all are imperfect in their own way. For example, the rich father is kind of arrogant and aloof and cold. He's easy to dislike, but he does have his moments of vulnerability later on and you do see that he is a good person. There's a scene earlier on in the film where the son, Kevin, uh, has some documents forged to say that he's a college educated uh, tutor when he's not. And the father is so impressed with the son's like tenacity and that the quality of these forged documents. He's really genuinely proud of his son in this moment. And it's really quite touching. So even though the family are all in on this sort of deceitful uh, hoodwinking of the wealthy family, they have you know, they're just looking out for each other and they're just trying to do the best that they can. And it's moments like these squeezed between that necessity of survival and having to put food on the table that make the film like so touching and also really bleak and, and, and sad as well. There you have it guys. They are my thoughts on Bong Joon-ho's latest uh, brilliant film, Parasite. Certainly right up there with one of the best things I've seen all year. It is so beautifully done with such a light touch in the places that you want a light hand and then it kind of goes really really super crazy and is very like visceral as a film as we go later on and it yeah leaves you just 
I was probably like shaking my head a lot and doing this face a lot. Yeah, a lot. Don't forget you can also subscribe to my channel and keep up to date with all things movies and TV as I try and stay myself up to date with all things movies and TV as well. I've been watching more TV lately so maybe I'll be doing some more TV uh, series reviews uh, coming up so yeah make sure you're staying tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!